Despicable 3! Morning everyone, it is a beautiful Saturday morning at Warwick Castle. We're so lucky because you have to pre-book your tickets quite far in advance so big picked today and it's going to be like highs of 17 degrees isn't it in the sunshine Glorious, so yeah. perfect day for it because obviously indoor venues and things can't open yet so Warwick Castle is like what 80 percent outdoors anyway quite a good place to visit at the moment we've not been since we think new year 2020 <laughs> yeah, i did see what happened oh, no. we've been again <laughs> we're really looking forward to coming back and getting some fresh air hopefully have a little bit of a wander around warwick town center as well won't yeah, we because nice. the castle here is like immediately next to the town so we'll take you with us see what we can find they've got a new zog thing as well haven't they is it like a maze or something like that so we'll <laughs> i don't think it'll be as good mate, as well looking forward to checking it out it will be interesting to see if moats changed moats changed oats changed <laughs> that's a regional on that gym <laughs> oh, don't say oat down south i don't think i was brought up saying oat it looks like these are the things that are open today we're looking forward to doing the Zog. They've given us this like little activity card thing with different things to do. But I think what we'll do is do that after lunch. Sound good, mate? Yeah. We are in now. This is Warwick Castle behind us. What I'll do is I'll show you sort of like the rough layout when you get down and into the attraction. So when you enter, you come sort of down this path here and then it veers off to the left for all of the Zog stuff. And then the next turn in here, which is what we're going to do, is the Horrible Histories Maze. But then if you come to the bottom of the hill and turn right, then this will sort of lead you up over into the castle grounds. You can see there's a bit of an archer over there. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous bit day. Archer. Bit of an archer. It looks like a full one to me. Fully fledged archer. Fully fledged archer. <laughs> and there is a fourth path where you go around sort of like over the drawbridge sort of thing over there, isn't it? Into the castle grounds. Lots to do, lots to see. So this is going to be our first activity, the Horrible Histories Maze. We did this years ago, but really, really enjoyed it. We've ended up at the First World War section and there's little things that you can look at and read to learn about the World War. Jimmy's learning about Guy Fawkes and the gunpowder plot now, aren't you, mate? Bit gruesome, isn't it? Feel a bit ill. <laughs> we managed to find Aratus. We've got no idea where we're going. Get your Aratus out. <laughs> we're just following Jimmy as he like runs around. Oh gosh, Tudors. Oh, I like Tudors. Have you ever heard of Henry VIII? Obviously. Do you know how many wives he had? Eight. Six, nearly. We've just come out of maze and there's a knight coming down on a real life horse. It's clarified for Steph because she wasn't sure if it was a, a model or a real one. We've just left the maze now. Me and Jim both said the same thing, that we were surprised that they've got it open, aren't we? Yeah, it's a bit mad, isn't it? Yeah. By the very nature of mazes, you get lost in it. And they're like quite narrow paths and people are going different ways. So it's um, yeah, a bit different to like your one-way systems, isn't it? bit odd anyway we're quite glad to have got out of there now and we're gonna go and check out the castle the castle looks absolutely gorgeous and the horse has just gone in here as well Annie Jimmy yeah. we're gonna follow the horse in so that always freaks me out you've always said that every time we've come haven't you you don't like those gates you don't like them do you mate <laughs> are they real spikes yeah they're real spikes can't get fake spikes you can get fake horses though, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Such an awesome, awesome building. Wow, this is a change since last time we came, isn't it? Last time we came here, we had a bit of a picnic on the grass, but they filled it all with benches now. I think it's a lot better for it, really. We you still want a picnic on the grass, their space. Well, and there's other grassy areas. Picnic there. <laughs> Beautiful, I can imagine it, lay out the, the wonderful blankets of the leaf floor, the ice floor. When you look at the benches, they're all numbered and they run an event here called Digbeth Dining Club. So we think that's why they've got all of these tables and benches here now compared yeah. to last time we came. Jim said they were running it last night and you could see all of like the stalls and things, couldn't you? Lots of different street food stands yeah. and stuff. It looks really, really good. Cool. It does look really nice, especially when they've got like all the lights on at night time. So. I've heard about it before though. I think it does, um, it does book up like really quickly. I think it was sold out because I know someone that wanted to get a table. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's popular. but. Not a bad old place to sit eating your, uh, oh, love it. eating your tacos and drinking your IPAs, is it? Just to give you a little bit of a pan around from inside Warwick Castle, I've got to say, I think if anyone was visiting England, you know, like from America or from 
anywhere out of this country this has to be like the most like english place doesn't it you know just from like getting like your feels from like history and things we've come onto a field and there's a bit of a sword fight going Rockers, on, going on. <laughs> this is like a typical derby night out this isn't it <laughs> whose team are you on jimmy the one with the helmet or without the helmet Oh. I'm on the team with the one without the air. <laughs> he's winning. I hope he's got some Factor 30 on. Not made sense so far, though. Last week it's ours. Oh. Oh, oh no. He's done him, Jim. <gasps> oh. Kick him in the nuts. You really enjoyed that, didn't you? We were eating lunch at 12.30 in the courtyard. Yeah. Warwick. That's what they've we're said, aren't they? We're seeing this. We're seeing this. You want to see the rematch? In the courtyard today. <laughs> we've come down to the field where the trebuchet is. We've never actually watched that show and I don't think it's running yet. But we have seen a film with Ethan... <laughs> Tre Tremblay. Tremblay. <laughs> God, it's like it's due date, isn't it? Anyway, we've never seen the castle from like this perspective before and I'll show it to you because it's like proper impressive, isn't it? Oh, it's stunning makes you feel so tiny when you look at it from here and I don't think you realise just how big it is from like inside the courtyard do you? There's also a lovely waterfall just down there and I don't think you'll be able to see this I'll zoom in. Underneath that tree just over there there's a couple on a bench and it seems to be like the only bench really remote properly just like in your own little world listening to the waterfall I bet that's lovely. This is the trebuchet or Ethan Tremblay, as Jim always calls it. Trebuchet is absolutely massive. So it must be that they pull that back, don't they? Well, that was jungle. And, they, and then they fling a rock or whatever over there. Jimmy saw the show once with the school trip, didn't you? Was it good? Yeah. Um, well, the only reason why it was good for me, I get to snack while we watch. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> Even the teachers said, don't tell anyone, but we got food before the other class having sandwiches. And all I can say is, that sandwich tasted like heaven. So we like the sandwich, what was the... <laughs> what was the trebuchet like? <laughs> so what was the trebuchet like? It was amazing, yeah. Was it amazing? No. I think the sandwich overtook it. Trebuchet <laughs> was average. Sandwich was, was incredible. Incredible, yeah. I'll tell you what my um, go-to was when what? I was on my school trips as a kid. Beef paste sandwiches, cut into squares on brown bread, crisps and an umbonga. Just walking back over the bridge to the main side of Warwick Castle. We've come to the courtyard now because the knight shouted that they were doing a show here at half 12. So we've got about 10, 15 minutes before that starts. So the plan is we're gonna hopefully watch that. Jimmy's well into it, isn't he? And then we're gonna nip into Warwick and see if we can like get some food in the town rather than within the grounds. You looking forward to the sword fight? I am born ready. Enjoy your time here Jim? Loving it. Gorgeous day. I'm practicing safe sum. Safe sum with your hat on. And I offered Jim up some factor 50. He was like, no need today. <laughs> You've got a cloth barrier instead. Prefer to think of it as a cotton sheath. A cotton sheath we had. <laughs> Jimmy's just spotted someone up on the, what do you call that? Like a gangway? Yeah, gangway. Oh. Need Brian Blessed on this. <laughs> <laughs> Daffo a job for Brian Blessed. Oh, oh it's Pete Witch oh. from Tarwick. <laughs> it's kicking off. Oh, oh hello. I'm so focused on the bike. Looks like they don't fall off because that is a steep drop, isn't it? The hat's off. Oh, hat's off. Hat's off. That head's going to get some right roast in there. Oh, oh going in the tower now. Yeah. Two minutes later, they're gonna be up at the top here, aren't they? What do you think of this? I'm really nervous. Why, because they're going to the top of the tower? Yeah, it's really got, gotten me stressed. We're just waiting to see if they're gonna emerge up at the top here. That's what we think's gonna happen. I, I couldn't do that job, I couldn't do it. Oh. You can't really see much from here. I think it was a bit better when it was lower down. We're back. Like a medieval Ben Eel, isn't it? <laughs> seen one come out, but I've not seen the other one come out of you. He's in the sugar up. <laughs> so the guy who was in red is now down like on our level and the other guy's up on the top. 
me and Jim have both said that without microphones the storyline's a bit redundant we don't know what's going on do we <laughs> it's just a bit like where's Wally of uh, where they're gonna come out next Huh? Short recap. Yeah. Medieval Phil Mitchell is yielded. <laughs> medieval Pete Wicks. What's your thoughts on the show then? The show was really good. The one thing I thought, most of the time like we couldn't see them. Yeah. I think, like, we could see them do more of the action. I think it would have been good. But it added a lot of suspense to it. Yeah. And the suspense made it all feel more. You know what I mean? It made it feel like a more like exciting experience and thrilling. Yeah, it was really good, weren't it? Yeah, it's unmissable. To be fair, I thought it was going to be the same show as what was on the grass earlier, like just two people having a sword fight, because yeah. we were trying to work out where they'd do it. But for it to be sort of like up at the top, I thought it was amazing. I thought it was really, really that good. Was, it was yeah. well worth watching. And it's something that I bet they normally wouldn't be able to do because normally you can go up and walk through all of that so they wouldn't be able to do the show. So it's something a little bit different, eh? Fair play to lads and all, because getting up them staircases isn't easy. And they were doing it in pretty sharpish time, yeah. weren't they? So. And one of them seemed like he was a bit of a big lad as well. So. He did, yeah. <laughs> Must have been tough in a suit of armour. <laughs> chain mail, that can weigh you down a bit, as I know. We have just come out of the exit, which is just there, and I'll show you the gate in front to me. So where there's the main route to the car park there, as I pan round, there is just a little gate over there which will take you into Warwick Town Centre. And this little gate has a sign just here, it says the gate will be locked one hour after the castle closes. Good to know, the castle closes at four o'clock today, so it means we'll definitely have to be back by five. When you come out those gates you are like literally like right in Warwick, aren't you? Yeah. So for us it's a must do to sort of come into the town and get some food there rather than eating in the grounds and also just explore the town a little bit because it's yeah. got the most beautiful like British buildings. Although our favourite little tea room's got scaffolding up. Yeah. This is Thomas Oak and tea rooms like just around the corner. Unfortunately it's got the scaffolding up but we've been there like three times like never had a bad meal have we? It looks like the tea rooms have got some tables and chairs out as well. We very nearly pre-booked like a um, afternoon tea like picnic, didn't yeah. we? Uh, you, uh, we looked on Thomas Oaken's website and you can pre-order food up till five o'clock the night before, but we thought we'd just try and change it up this time and actually go into the town. Probably end up at Greg's. <laughs> you can take the boy out of Derby. Or yeah. spoons. <laughs> yeah. It is so, so, so nice. I'd love to see inside some of these like houses and things, wouldn't you? Just found Warwick Markets open till three o'clock. Didn't realise we we're getting market day, Jim. Every day's a market day, Warwick. We're in the main market square. We're going to see if they've got any tables at this tilted wig. Never been here before. We asked them at the door, and you don't have to pre-book your tables here. So we've just found an empty table, and like as easy as that. We've got venues, and we're sat down. The person working here is lovely. He's like come and like wiped it all down, like was having a chit chat, weren't he, Jim? And the menu looks great. It's just a couple of doors down from a Weatherspoons, and it's probably a bit more expensive than like your Weatherspoons food, but it looks like it's going to be really nice. And this will be our first meal out of 2021, won't it? Really, apart from theme park food. It's quite exciting, isn't it? This is the kids' menu, and Jimmy's gonna go for a cheeseburger in true kid fashion. Oh, nom nom nom. You're looking forward to it? Yeah. Jim's gone for a steak. Well done. Well done. And leave all your hate in the comments below. <laughs> I was probably put on the spot because I really didn't know what to order, and there was so much. They had like a couscous thing, like salad. I've ended up going for a burger because I was gonna go for the couscous, but I know as soon as Jimmy gets his burger come out, I'll be really jealous, so I thought I'll just go for a burger as well. <laughs> I was going to go for two healthy options, but I went for a burger. But I went for a burger. <laughs> it's first meal out of 2021, Jim. That's Going all out. And that's why we're still married after 10 years. <laughs> Sign of a good marriage, isn't it? <laughs> Calories and saturated fat. <laughs> you are romantic. It's a pay-as-you-go situation here. So this is the bill just for the food. So we've got the burger, steak and the adults burger and the totals come to 38.45 for us the pay as you go is a good thing as well you know so you're not waiting for the bill at the end like sitting there for five ten minutes like trying to get someone's attention I wish everywhere made you pay off yeah I'd, I'd rather do this every day and it's a great little spot because you're right on the market so it's like perfect like people watching venue into it loads of different exits and also if you were doing a runner you'd be away <laughs> Jimmy how good does this food look it looks 
good. So good. That's the kids' meal, which I don't think is bad for a fiver. This is my steak burger. You can see you've got a huge patty. There's a strip of bacon in there, which I'll probably take out. I'm not keen on bacon in burgers. I have the bacon, I have the bacon. <laughs> the fries look amazing. Slaw, some like onion things there. Looks amazing. Nice sirloin steak with some mushroom, tomato, chunky chips, peppercorn sauce, and it smells amazing. We have all finished with the food at the Tilted Wig and it was oh, nice. lovely. You said it weren't the best steak you've ever had, yeah. but it was good. <laughs> no, it was lovely to have a meal at pub, pub lunch again. Yeah, for yeah. First pub lunch of the year and it, it was worth it, definitely. We said we'd go back to that Tilted Wig. Nine out of ten stars. Wow, you really enjoyed your burger, didn't you, mate? I, yeah, I love the burger. But all I can say is the staff are amazing. They were so nice, oh, weren't the they? They were amazing. You got Nine a job stars. offer, didn't you, Jim? Yeah, I got a job offer. <laughs> what did it say to you? It said, uh, oh, we can get your work shoot. You can help the boys out. Help the boys out? Yeah. <laughs> you said you'll think about it, didn't you? Yeah. So just for reference, we've sort of crossed the road and gone over. The Tilted Wig is over there. Here is Weatherspoons. We've been there for breakfast before, haven't we? <laughs> and they're uh, doing a roaring trade, people queuing up for tables. We're just working our way back to Warwick Castle, but we're taking note of like all the buildings and like all like the plaques up on the buildings, aren't we? Any plaques you're normally used to seeing on my teeth? Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's the plaque, and then right here is Pageant Gardens. It says. And you mean the toilets? Oh, and the toilets. <laughs> and here we go. We're going back in now into the castle grounds. We are back in, sort of re-temperature checked. They re-scanned our cards, but it sort of flagged up that we were re-entering, so they only needed to scan one of ours. What we're going to do now is speed through the Zog challenges, aren't we? There's no queue now for the first one, so... Year one is Dragons Learn to Fly, and we need to take a picture with Zog. That was a great pose, Jimmy, and I'll insert the picture here. Oh, my leg's killing me now. And then with the pamphlet we were given this morning, we then need to stamp it. That's the first one checked off and you can see it sort of embosses it as opposed to like an ink stamp. This is number two and what it is is there's just different jumping pads. And then it will make the dragons roar up there. Well done mate! We're having a look at the scene trying to work out which dragon we would be. So where year two was here, year three is just within the maze area but veering around to the left it says on the leaflet you're gonna be a dragon in no time <laughs> so the concept for this one you can see jimmy's just jumping on that pad down there and then every now and then there's like a little squirt of water that goes through zog's fire there we go did it mate hey uh hello hello how are we good thank you very good are you a young knight in training yeah. Good. <laughs> They're wearing too much blue. Oh, we like oh, red. They like red, Jimmy. These red coats don't want it with me. <laughs> What's that? Oh, these red coats don't want it with me, Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> Jim's just absolutely cracked me up. So he's asked me to hold the bag so he can take his jumper off with a bit of dignity. That ship sailed a long, long, long time ago. Long time. Anyway, he's taken his hoodie off and he's got his full abs on show, haven't you? <laughs> like helmet fish and they call me the body. <laughs> Big fish, weren't it? Your wrestling name. Well, I'm wrestling, yeah. Performing name, but. Year four is how to capture a princess with a bit of a obstacle course, which Jimmy's going around now. Jimmy's being fussy trying to find the best hill rolling spot, isn't he? He wants to get the right vibe as he rolls down it. <laughs> Is he digging it? No, it's back up again. <laughs> He's digging it there? Yeah, there we go. It's like the Gloucester cheese roll, isn't it? <laughs> We've come up to the conservatory garden and there is like the most glorious peacock here. Proper bright shade of blue. There's a bench opposite where we can just like sit and have a little look at it. He started shaking his tail about. Although I think it's a sign of panic for peacocks to lift their tail up into it. So, so I bet hope it doesn't. Yeah. It's gonna be Absolutely gorgeous though to watch. Up there, that's called the conservatory, isn't it? And we've seen that they'll sell like some food and some alcohol there as well. There's some topiary birds. It all just looks so well maintained. And then there's this like gorgeous fountain here. This is where it's sort of throughout the day they'll have Zog where you can come and meet and have a photo with him, can't you? And I am Greet. And this is the last bit of the Zog challenge where you can come here and do like take part in like a sword fighting experience. But we uh, saw that show earlier. But it's quite a good view over here of this tower up there. 
on the other side through those gates there's like some winding stairs so you can get up and get a gorgeous view from up there can't you all over the grounds it really is stunning here and it's so well maintained it is lovely here, but i just think it lacks on being immersive because do you actually feel like you're at a castle <laughs> <laughs> well themed it is just coming up to four o'clock now and we're gonna end our day at warwick castle slash warwick loved it haven't we Brilliant day, yeah, really we have nice. felt so lucky with the weather gorgeous don't you think but saying that that here is open i think it's every day apart from christmas day isn't it I think so, We've yeah. come New Year's Eve, New Year's Day before and still had an amazing time even in the cold when the indoor parts are open. Yeah. But obviously at the moment it is just the outdoor areas. I think what's been quite good for us is we've never really explored like the outdoor areas before, like you know, like the full sort of length of the garden. Yeah, we've never seen the conservatory, have we? Yeah. yeah. Been that far. Never seen the conservatory, never been down to like the trebuchet area. I keep, I keep having to question myself, is it Tremblay or Trebuchet anyway? Uh, so it's been like a really worthwhile visit for us today, yeah, hasn't I've it? I've really enjoyed it. Still my first favourite Warwick, Davis number two. <laughs> Just sit him on a bench, wake him up. So what was your favourite thing today? My favourite thing, probably sword fight. Sword fight was so good, weren't it? Second, the pub lunch, because the people there were so nice. Yeah. I'll say it again, they're lovely. <laughs> uh, and then, but then the thing I didn't like, we, we won't be able to go indoors areas. Yeah. Although, I was just about to say like, we could go up the towers, but then we wouldn't be able to have that show. Yeah. So. Really good day. Hopefully we'll be able to come back after all the indoor areas have opened up again. Because yeah. I think I'd love to have another day back here again, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. So we're going to end the video here. Our next video up will be from Blackpool. We are off there next weekend, we aren't we? certainly are. For three nights. So subscribe if you'd like to see that trip. Hope you all have a lovely week and we will see you in the next one. See Bye. You later, have a great one. So guys, it's the end of the video, so please like, subscribe and you know, do all that good stuff and see you in the next one. Bye bye!